stations. Okay. Guess we can actually defend the geological survey first. I will use the Punisher. I'm with a level 5 and a level 20 who... I played with the level 20 um, in a game before this one and it seems like they're struggling a lot despite being level 20. I think I want to... Uh, Change it up a little bit. I'll do some mines since we'll be defending. So I'll just have a lot of ammo for the Punisher. Um, and if you do a lot of shooting with the Punisher, or you know, if you're participating a lot in applying damage to the enemy, then a single uh, resupply stratagem isn't enough. Commencing mission. So I'm going to do the uh, like I usually do the resupply pack. I do like having ammo on me and with me, so I can do a lot of nice, nice shooting. And for the rest of the team, of course. our way to the geological uh -oh. Reloading. oh I got them for some time Reloading. defensive equipment inbound defensive equipment inbound put some mines out there get the defenses up before we start dropping equipment repeat dropping Reloading. equipment Put his emplacement extremely close to the mines. That is unfortunate. I don't know why he did that so close to the mines. He could actually die if a dog runs through those mines. I'm going to call in my resupply pack while we're doing this objective. We do have patrols on the other side of the geological survey here, possible spawn points. He did end up killing himself with the mines. I will call him in. I guess we'll just go to the one that's close to the extraction. there. Captured the area. We can actually keep moving here. We 
can actually keep moving. I'm gonna dive on the ground. There's really no reason to fight this. We can actually just keep going down to the truth transmitter. The hulks are very slow in travel. And we seem to uh, want to fight them. Watch your character. Watch your character when someone spawns in. Always watch your character. Because they will most likely land on your head. Finally made it to the truth transmitter. Dropping equipment. Start the objective as soon as you can. Equipment equipment was called in at the objective, which is great. I'm gonna take one of these disposable rocket launchers. be going top right here. shooting. That guy's going to die from that. Oh, wow, I'm really surprised that he did not die from that. Have to get this guy up so the Hulk doesn't smash him. I'm going to call in ammo. I'm going to take both boxes. I expect to be low enough on ammo where I can grab two boxes and waste minimal ammunition in doing so. That will bring my resupply pack count up to three. And now we should be able to move on here. The objective is finished, so we should be moving on. We captured the point. We do want to keep going. So as you can see in this game, in this mission we're doing with the Punisher, having lots of ammo is worth it. I depleted uh, three of the ammo boxes out of my resupply pack. And I even... I even took ammo once in this game, so essentially doubled my ammo and I still got low. And I don't think anyone else took ammo out of my resupply pack. I'm gonna put mines down now. Always watch out for falling pods. And because he actually died with that beacon in his hand, um, that caused uh, a horrible stratagem <laughs> to uh, kill two of our guys there. So I put mines down. Hopefully that will clean them up a bit. I'm going to keep an eye on the cooldown on my mines so I can put more down later. Yeah, 
put more down now. He should have just picked up. He should have just picked him up instead of shooting that Hulk. I don't know why he's running towards the mines. Looks like he's about to step on them. We should all be able to get on the shuttle, so I'm I'm gonna probably just get on. Okay, so the mines really helped us out a lot there. Um, the thing with the Hulk is that when you are incapacitated, or when someone, I guess I should say, on your team is incapacitated, the Hulk is immediately drawn to that character, to whoever's on the ground. Uh, bleeding out. So if you can, either you pick up the individual or you kill the Hulk before they get to the incapacitated person. Uh, aim for the belly, see if you can kill them before they even get there. Ideally what you could do is get the Hulk to the point where he starts bleeding out with his constitution health <coughs> that's left. And then that would give you time um, or even the incapacitated person time to crawl away. Um, so just be mindful of that. Whoever is incapacitated, all the hulks will be drawn to that person because the hulks want to just hit them once with the shield and end their life. Um, so get that person back up again as soon as possible or kill the hulk or hulks if there's more than one. It's usually better to just get them back up again. Uh, considering that we were low on health a lot, I'm thinking of switching one of my um, stratagems to the Rep 80. So not, oh, not only can I heal their equipment, I, know, I think one guy had an exosuit, another guy had a turret. I could heal those, and then I could also heal um, my teammates who appear to be injured a lot. And I think that would be a good move. Um, I think I want to stick with the Punisher. I'm having a lot of fun with it right now. And uh, I guess it also depends on what objectives we have to do. If we have objectives that require a lot of defense, um, then I may not switch to the Rep 80. So we really don't have anything to defend. Uh, so I feel... Um, that switching to the Rep 80 is not a terrible idea. So I can switch to the Rep 80, and then I can also do like a strafing run. Or I could even do a, a static field. I think I like this loadout, so I'm gonna I'm gonna confirm it. I guess depending on how I feel, uh, stretching. I guess depending on how I feel, I'll make this recording a little bit longer, and then um, I have some stuff I want to do while this is uploading. the area here. I purposely landed us here to force us to walk through the searchable area. Equipment. So hopefully we will find the truth transmitter as we are traveling. This guy's calling in his stuff already, so I guess I'll call equipment in my stuff as way. well. Uh, got dog, got those dogs. I'm, at, I'm going to at least get the Rep 80 up first. So we have one guy on the ground. The Hulk is going to be attracted to that incapacitated guy. I'm going to get him back up again real quick. Notice how I used the Rep 80 to get him up, not to just perpetually heal people. Got that dog. 
dive on the ground to dodge the bullets. I can see the truth transmitter. He's gonna die. Oop, he has gotta get away from him. I'm gonna give him a quick heal. And then I'm gonna continue to contribute um, to damaging the enemy. So I definitely saved his life there with the Rep AD already. So it's been proving to be useful. I'm going to call in my resupply pack. We're going to keep it moving here. I'm not sure why we're so far behind. We should be moving. I'm going to get attacked by these dogs off screen. No one's coming to pick me up. Okay, so... I got up on my own at that point, and then they ended up taking ammo out of my resupply pack instead. Okay, I'm going to start finding uh, mines immediately. I found two pretty quick. I found all three. I'm going to get this guy back up again. I'm actually going to keep healing these guys because I feel like they're going to take a lot of damage. I'm going to keep healing. Now I'm, now I'm going to stop. Okay, so we found the mines, which is important. We just need to defuse them now. Okay. I'm going to take this ammo. Transmitter. I'm gonna get the static field over there. Hopefully the enemies that are called in will land in the static field. Their movement speed is practically set to zero, almost zero. Um, but it doesn't do any damage. Gonna get pick this guy back up again using the Rep 80. And then we're going to move on to the next objective. I don't have anything too defensive that I can call in right now. Hopefully they do. I think one of them has a turret. I think one of them has an emplacement. Maybe they can call that stuff in and make use of it. They're not using the emplacement. Guess I'll use the emplacement. Keep moving here. 
always watch your character when someone is coming into the game. I know they say that a lot, but you'll be surprised at the amount of people that die from players just joining the game. So here we are again for more mines. The Punisher does feel pretty darn good. I'm glad I also chose the Rep 80. I saved, saved a couple lives with it. Okay, I found all three mines. Now it just comes down to defusing them. Call in your friends when you can. I might actually get hit by this dog if I'm not covered. Okay, well, luckily I'm alright. Okay, we should move on. My reinforce is on cooldown, so I cannot get that player back in the game. Assume they're gonna take some damage, so I'm gonna start healing a little bit. Oh, actually, he got shot by his friend, so I'm gonna bring him back up again. So the Rep 80's really been proving useful. I'm gonna call in ammo, because I have two ammo boxes left in my resupply pack, and I'm almost out of ammo that I'm carrying. So I feel like I can take both boxes without wasting too much ammo. I'm gonna pick him up. Oh, tanked. He's got a move. He's going to die. They're going to die. Oh, God. That was so close. Someone's got to use this emplacement, right? If you call in an emplacement, you should probably use the emplacement. We should all be able to get on the shuttle, and then we go. So I think the Rep 80 in this context was a fantastic choice. Not only was I able to save lives, but um, I think I repaired one or two other things with it. Um, it's great to be able to pick up incapacitated players uh, from a distance, from a pretty good distance, and then not only can you pick them up, but as soon as they get on their feet, they're at full health again. So I was also able to use it in anticipation of them being incapacitated, and I found it to be effective. Now, I, I wasn't uh, perpetually healing, I was only healing to pick people back up again or, or anticipation of a lot of damage. Um, and then I would switch back to my primary and then contribute to actually fighting the enemy. So it works out pretty good there. I think I will do one more. I don't know how long this recording is. Now, if this player ends up leaving, and it's only me and this uh, one other player, then I might consider uh, ditching the Rep 80, because there isn't a lot of player. There are not a lot of players to heal. Um, so let's see what we have here. So I'm going to go in the far left corner. 
I have a feeling that we will be landing on the black box because that would be in the center of the searchable area. So I feel like the black box will be either on where we're going to land or it's going to be incredibly close to where we are. And then we can move um, toward the right. So we would go to the launch pad and then we would drop off the black box and then maybe do the artillery, the uh, anti-air. So let's do that. I'm going to mix it up. I'm, I won't do the Punisher. Let's do something else. Camper. Camper's okay. We could do the Patriot. Patriot into... Dum Dum? Then maybe something a little bit defensive. Like a turret of some kind. Commencing mission. Go with this. They have a lot of um, anti-tank. They have some demolishers there. They have uh, some eat. Uh, they have an eat stratagem, so... That's pretty good to have. The Dum Dum performs very well against medium targets. They, it performs very well against a Hulk. Hell Diver deploying to combat zone. So we did land on the objective. So I'm going to grab it. And then we can actually go right to the launch pad. This guy's going to drop his stuff off immediately, so I guess in response I will drop off my stuff. Dropping equipment. Dropping equipment. Repeat. Got to shoot the patrols. Looks like we were not doing that. on the lookout for patrols. Gotta shoot the patrols. time left. I may end up uh, reloading and taking an ammo box, just because I think we're going to leave it behind anyway. I guess never mind. <laughs> we do need the black box. I'm going to take that, and I'm going to keep moving. We don't really need to fight. We can just keep going here, which is what the team appears to be doing, which is good. to the drop-off point, the drop-off structure. Now we can go down toward the cyborg artillery. Now the rumbler can kill the guns, 
I don't know if the player will be using the rumbler to kill the guns. Okay. I guess he will not be. I'm going to call in a hell bomb. The demolisher can also kill the guns. Assuming it lands right next to... I don't know why he did that. I don't think that'll kill it, but we'll see. Nope. It's got to land like right next to the gun on the ground. Just have extraction. Oh, that guy's in the in the mountain. Extraction <laughs> confirmed. Okay. Dropping equipment. Equipment on its way. Inbound. I'm gonna throw the turret nice and far so that it doesn't kill us. Helldiver deploying to combat. Someone's coming into the game, so stare at your character so you don't die from a falling pod. I am still staring at my character because I don't think they came in yet. I am still staring at my character. I guess they're not coming. I wonder if I should stop staring at my character. I guess they're not coming. Strange. Looks like our defenses were, Engaging target were just right there. Defenses were very good there. Ugh. I did like the fact that we knew when to fight and not fight. I felt like we were like able to identify what to do in certain situations with the enemy being present. So when the enemy was around us, we knew that we were in transit, we had to move on to the next objective, and it looked like we, all three of us, knew to do that. So that was nice. No one was staying behind to fight. It was good. I think I might do one more game. This recording will be pretty long, I suppose. So I'm sure the upload will take hours. Many hours. But I'm having fun, so... I have some coffee. I didn't really eat breakfast yet. I repeat... Okay, so we have an assassination target up top. I'm really inclined to just land on it. I do this all the time. My previous recordings even showed me do it. So one of the players was very quick to say, no, don't do that, but... <clears throat> I'm going to switch it up to the double freedom. 
Um, instead of having a secondary weapon, I'm just, I'm just going to do like the rail cannon strike. It'll just kill it. It'll kill the assassination target very quickly. And then I guess to to contribute to the uh, to the damage against the enemy, a strafing run is a great is always a great choice. Actually, ten second cooldown does good damage, kills units, and the ones that are damaged you can just finish off yourself. Mission commencing. I love it. Cooldowns are very, very important to pay attention to. A stratagem could look great in the description, uh, but you have to really pay attention to the cooldown. I think that's one of the factors that should be prioritized. So now we're chasing an assassination target. I heard it slam into the ground. So now it should die here. And now it's dead. I guess I'll take the ammo. I don't know why that guy disconnected. Reloading. And we're still moving on here. There's a sample here that I'm willing to get for this player. There's another sample here that he can get. I'm going to call in the sniffer, and while that's Dropping coming in, I'm equipment. going to call in my resupply pack. Stand by. Equipment on its way. Deploying defensive assets. Reloading. I'm going to wait till I reload before I pick him up. He wasn't in any immediate danger. Okay. Defense drop incoming. Okay. Found all three. Reload. Okay, so we have some Tesla towers up. Good job defusing the mines. We're gonna keep moving. We don't have to fight. This player knows that. We can just keep moving to the next objective. The Hulk might even despawn by the time we get to the next objective because we're so far away from it. I don't have any defenses really. Dropping I do hear the Hulk still. I'm gonna try to contribute to the damage here. There's only two of us. The breaker also uh, consumes a lot of ammo. So I don't want him to shoot all the time. Try to keep the objective moving. That streaking run should kill them. Okay, so... I don't want to grab the sniffer. It keeps saying to grab the sniffer. I don't want to grab the sniffer. Don't throw um, the reinforced beacon anywhere near the geological survey, it will kill it. Um, pods can fall on the geological survey. Okay, we can move on actually to the next objective. This player is also moving along with me. I think they're, they're playing really well actually. So we have another defense here. I don't have any defense stratagems to really call in. So we're going to clear the area.
That's gonna kill him. Oh wow. So I had to use my rail cannon strike to kill the nearest hole, and then I ended up using one of the rocket launchers to finish off the other one. I'm really glad that we are using that stratagem. The eat stratagem has been very helpful this game. So now we have to go down left. I always wait a moment between shots of the double freedom so that the fire debuff can apply more damage. Extraction confirmed. Shuttle inbound. ETA T minus one minute thirty Still. seconds. I keep forgetting I don't have anything to call in really for defense. Fire debuff would actually kill him, but it didn't. sure that he can actually get on the shuttle here. Looks like he can. So I will as well. And that was actually pretty good. That was very good. Very good. There was like one maybe or two slow, like, uh, close calls, I should say, where the Hulks got very, very close to the objective we were defending, and it can be very hard to get them off the objective once they're on it, especially when they're in melee range, and the only way to grab their attention at that point when they are just smacking at the objective is to actually run up to them and melee them, and then they will turn to face you. Um, at that point, you could maybe shoot them in the belly, um, but, but definitely try to kill them, and then you may end up killing yourself, but at least the objective might be okay. And that will conclude this recording, so I will see you guys in the next one.